I don't know. Okay, can you? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I just want to make sure. How that... do I? No, that's you can speak. We're speaking. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I got you, my brother. All right. Just want to make sure. Does everyone else can hear? Everyone can hear. <clears throat> just want to make sure you guys can hear. I just want to double check. Hold on, friend. Okay, the sound is perfect, my friend. Okay, just first of all, tell me what you believe Jesus's relationship to the Father is. As his relationship, Jesus is the Father. Oh, you're one of those. So you're a modalist. Okay. Yeah. I, well, no, I wouldn't say a modalist. I don't like to put words on what I believe. Yeah. I, I don't call myself a oneness or a Unitarian yeah. or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. I, yeah, that's, they all say that. Let's let's cut to the chase okay. and cut, go to the point. So who is Jesus on earth? Is he the Father in the flesh? Yes. Okay, so explain to me John 8, 17 to 18. Go there, please. All right. So remember, you just said, it's being recorded, everyone heard, <clears throat> that you John... said Jesus is the Father in the flesh. Okay. <clears throat> so go there, John 8, 17, 18. What Bible are you using? What translation? Uh, New King James. Okay, good. Read for me John 8, 17, 18. I just want to affirm you said Jesus is the Father in the flesh. Okay, now read John. Now you 18. did say John 8 and 17. 17 and 18. And 18. 17 it is 18. also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one who bears witness of myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness of me. Okay, question for you. According to the law, you have to have two distinct persons or men, as Jesus said, to validate someone's testimony. You just said yes. the Father is Jesus in the flesh. Jesus is the Father in the flesh. That's one man that's not two. Was Jesus lying? No, he was not. So how does it constitute as two witnesses, two men? He said two men. You need two distinct men to testify. According to you, Jesus is the Father in the flesh. That's one. You said he is the Father. How does that constitute as two? Well, the Father, what he does, if let me show you behind my reasoning we're gonna go to job before you go behind your reasoning answer jesus's point in john 8 this is what you guys do you tap dance <clears throat> address what jesus said he said jesus father said, and i, I am are two men bear witness of myself okay. meaning as the son the father who but the father is the son yes yes so that's son. one man actually what he's what he's doing is the father is spirit we know this, right? Because God is a spirit. Irrelevant. Right? Jesus says two men. Deal with the text. Don't try to give me your interpretation. Two men. Jesus identifies the Father as a man, Anthropos. You can say spirit, which he is, but that does not contradict what Jesus says, that he is a man that testifies, and Jesus is another man that testifies. But according to you, it's one man because the Father is Jesus in the flesh. You're not answering the question or what Jesus said. How many is that? Um, listen to what I'm telling you. Yeah. If you don't tap okay. dance, I will. I, I will not tap dance you. I mean, it says the father who sent me bears witness of me, right? Did the father uh, send him? <clears throat> See, one thing I like to do is is validate what I'm saying with scripture. So you're gonna no, have you to can't, know you can't validate scripture. what you say with scripture when what you're gonna go to is gonna contradict the plain reading of scripture. I know scripture interprets scripture. There is no contradiction. Right. It contradicts your theology. How did the father send the son when you just said the father is the son? Read what you John just said. The father sent John 12, 45 will back up what I'm saying. John what? what about say. John what? John, John 12, 45. No, it won't. Because to see like, Jesus is to see the up. father, to hear Jesus is the father, but that doesn't make him the father. And you can't pit John 12, 45 and against John 8. Otis, we're going to try this again. John 12, 45, I know what it says. I know what John 12, 44, 45. Yes, if you see him, you see the one that sent him. If you hear him, right. you hear the one who sent him. If you, That does not. He, see, okay, he, sees, gonna, he who John, sees me sees him who sent okay, me. Okay, right? that's right. John, so now John 12, 45. The testimony of two men, right? Yes, explain that. Don't make me talk over you. Explain that. The father. No, I'm going to allow you to talk. I want you to get everything you have inside of you out. No, it's okay. okay. I'm just dealing with your well, satanic doctrine. Here, what Jesus is saying here, he's showing that he himself in the flesh as the son. 
the that father was... is in the flesh you just said that the father is in the flesh that is the father don't tap dance i asked you clearly is jesus the father in the flesh you said yes so that is the father in the flesh as the son that's still one man all right now is god a spirit what does that got to do with John 8, 17, 18? Well, what that's showing to you is there's a distinction between the flesh and the spirit. No, because Jesus says the Father is one. I'm another man. That's the language. Two men. Do you read it? It's in front of you. John 8, 17, 18. Two men. So even though the Father is spirit, he still constitutes as a distinct man. Well, I want you to son. show the other man that was with Jesus since he said two men. Right there. He said it. Show I, the other man. Jesus just men. said it. Let's try this again. I know it's hard for you with your heresy to deal with text. He said it. I am one and the father's the other. It's in front of you. This mic sound a little bit better when I got this plugged up. I am one and the father uh -huh. who sent me. It's in front of you. He told you the other man is the father. He just said it. Read it. So so the father is a man. That's what Without Jesus God said here. This is... Je did I'm Jesus just say, logic. here, here, what does the Greek say? Wait, wait, Otis, what does the Greek say? I'm not, I don't read Greek. Okay. That's one thing I, I don't get into. Okay, that. duo anthropon. He just said two men. Jesus called the father a man, not me. That's the text. Even in your English, does it say that? Yes, it says two men. Okay, That's so Jesus is one man. Mission. Who's the other? There is no other man around. Then Jesus lied right there. He just said, I am one and the Father is the other. It's in front of you, man. Read it. The Father is not a man. He just said he is. If you're going to waste my time, I'm going to hang up on you. I mean, if that's what you do with one scripture? No, I'm going to show you another one. Go to John 1, verses 1 and 2. Let's go to another one. All right. John 1, verses 1 and 2. That's why I don't tolerate your heresies. It's blasphemy. It's satanic to its core. But go to John 1, verses 1 and 2. Read it for me. In the beginning, you say in verse 2, or you want me to start at the first Verses one? 1 and 2. All right. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Okay. Now, what is the phrase with God? You said you know Greek, and I'm not trying to overwhelm you with Greek, but if you're going to say Trinity doctrine and attack it, that means you must have done some extensive studying in the arguments of Trinitarians. Do you know what that phrase, with God, is in the Greek or no? No. Okay. Not it's, in the Greek. All right. Let me well, give it to you. I tell it to you. Uh, let me give it to you, so that because you're going to see why it's going to be relevant in John to again show, even before creation, before the Word became flesh, he was there as a distinct person from God the Father. It's pros... Tan Theon. Let me send you the links so you don't know I'm making it up. Hold on. Pros Tan Theon. You don't need to read Greek. You don't need to know Greek because it's transliterated for you. Thank the Lord for modern technology. Right. Okay. Now, here you go. John 1.1. 1, 1. Here you go. Let me send it to you. Hold on. Because I want you to check it out. You click. Okay. Click on it. It's going to come in your comment section. Okay. I see it. Okay. Click on it. You're going to see the phrase pros ton theon. I think it went away. Okay, right, no, it should be in your comment yeah. section, uh, Otis. It should still be. Oh, there. in the chat. I got you. Yeah, in the chat. When I meant comments, yeah, obviously. Sorry about that. I John you. 16. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good, my brother. Thank you. My brother yeah. in humanity. Hopefully, you'll be my brother in faith. You're my brother in humanity <laughs> now. But anyway, click on it. All right. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and, the, and God was. The word. Now, what is right. that word? You see, pros, con, theon, it's transliterated in English. You don't need to read the Greek. It's right there. You see, it says with, it's pros. You see the word pros? Uh huh. Okay. Pros. Okay, go to John 16, 25 to 31. Go to John 16, 25 to 31. We got, read it all the way through. I'm not going to stop you. Just read it because you're going to see why I'm bringing this up. But first, read it. John 16. 25 to 31 slowly though because you're gonna see Jesus is not speaking figuratively Right. I got my Bible app open Yeah, yeah and as you're doing that it's, just get there. Let yeah, me explain to the people slow. here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go inside my word now Yeah, get get your Bible whatever. Let me just explain to the comment section here just real quickly the people are listening 
Uh, no, you I allow me to explain John 1 1 to you, okay? Yeah, before you explain it, go to John 16, 25, 30, because the word process is uh, used uh, there, and you're going to see John how it connects to John 1. But before you do that, let me just share with the people in my comment section on YouTube. It's not just for okay. you and me, it's for them. For Io, the word when it says two men, duo anthropon, by man here, Jesus is affirming the Father is a person. So don't get confused. Uh, but anyway, with that said, go to John 16, 25 to 31. Read it slowly for me. These things I have spoken to you in figurative language, but, this, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in a figurative language. But I will tell you plainly about the Father. And that day you will ask in my name and do not say to you that I shall pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. Keep reading. Oh. His disciples said to him, See, now you are speaking plainly and using no figure of speech. Now we are sure that you know all things and have no need that anyone should question you. By this, we believe that you came forth from God. Okay, so Jesus answered it. Oh, yeah, no, read 31. Read 31. I was waiting for you. Uh, Jesus anything. answered Answer them, do you now believe? Okay, now pause right there. Jesus is not speaking figuratively. You can't say it's figurative or parabolic. He's speaking plainly. Because notice what the disciples say in 29. Mm -hmm. What did they say in 29? What did they say when he starts speaking now plainly? His disciples said, yeah. to, See, now you are speaking plainly and not using no figure of speech. Okay. In 28, I just sent you the link in the chat. In the the chat. link, 1628. You click on 1628. Do you see that it says, I came from the Father and entered the world. I'm leaving the world and going to the Father. Now go back and click to the Father. You click on the link. It's the expression pros. There's that word pros again. Pros again. Pros ton patera. So do you believe when Jesus left the world, he left the world after resurrection in the flesh and is now with the father in the flesh what do you believe about jesus's flesh body um the flesh he took off when he um, got into heaven he's no longer in oh flesh. my goodness anymore. are you kidding me you believe that too oh my goodness all right so well, he's not why, he's not flesh I'm, I'm the, go ahead he's not flesh he's not a man is he a man no he's not a man no okay go to first timothy 2 verse 5. my goodness all right, let's deal with this so we can work, walk it to step by step. First you Timothy, counter, verse right? Five. Say it again. You get to counter this, right? You're gonna you're gonna read and tell me how you deal with these passages. You say you're a biblicist, you follow the Bible, but you're not. You're following your interpretation because I want you to explain no, to I, me. I'm gonna show you what the Bible is really saying. And I'm sure how, you will. Yeah, and yeah. yeah that you, for two thousand years, have listen. For two thousand years, Otis, the church was in darkness. We had to wait for your birth to see the great light. Go to First Timothy two verse five, man. Just read it for me. He says, Timothy, what now? First Timothy 2, verse 5. For there, oh, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ. Okay, Jesus. it says there is right now, right? Not was in the past, right? Yes, so do you have a mediator right now? Do you have a mediator right now? Do you have a mediator? Yes. Okay, it yes. says the mediator you have is the man, Christ Jesus, not the spirit, Christ Jesus. Do you believe that? No, because... Uh, yeah, you don't believe that. Just, yeah. what, are you familiar with the book of Revelation? Uh, Revelation is going to be a nightmare for you because go to Revelation 22.16. Go to Revelation 22.16. I can tell you that by heart. Okay. I, Jesus, have okay. testified of these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of david do you know what he's that the what wait 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 he's what he's the root and, what and else? the offspring you know what he's saying how there? can he be the offspring of david if he's not physical do you know what the root means oh uh, yeah he's the foundation of david's life david springs forth yes, from he's him the, he's, he's the what about the offspring source. part notice don't tap that offspring, offspring. that he came through the tribe of judah he says i am right now so let's try let's play your game right. when he said hold well, on listen when he said i am the root when he said that, was he still the root when he said, I am the root? 
Yes, he's speaking. The, okay, but he says, father. I am the offspring. How can he be the offspring of David if he's not a man? Listen to what I'm telling you. Go ahead. Um, he is both the father as well as the son. That's what he's saying. That's not that my verse. question. I am the root. The yeah, but you're not listening to me. That's not my question. Listen to your heresy so you can see how you're now oh. bearing yourself di di deeper in the hole. You said he's not a man in heaven. He's not a man. So don't pretend he's to be a answering a question no. I didn't ask. Let me repeat it again. He's not a man. Offspring of David, you cannot be the offspring of David if you're not a man, you're not human. How is he still the offspring of David in heaven when you said he's not a man in heaven? He's also the son of God. That's not my question again. Son of God has nothing to do with someone who's not a man but a spirit in heaven who's the offspring of David when if he's not a man he's no one's offspring because he discarded his humanity you're not answering the question i'm, I'm answering your question i just gave you two verses that show answer. okay now go to Acts 17 30 to 31. Acts 17 30 to 31. Read for me. Who's coming to judge the world? Yeah, Acts 17, 30. Times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Who's going to come to judge the world in righteousness? Who's coming in the future? Christ. No, read it Christ. again. He didn't say Christ. It said the man he appointed. Okay. The man so, that so appointed, do you believe right? Jesus will come back as a man to judge the world? No, he's not coming back as so, a man. So, Otis, why are you right? wasting my time? You don't believe in the Bible. Because you, you don't believe in the Bible. You're just, let's no, you don't. About what you're, this is what you're doing. What you're doing is giving me all the stuff that you know as far as your Trinitarian um, philosophy. But allow me to ask you. You're not here to I pontificate. You can ask me. I you can ask me. But I want you to see. I'm going to let you ask me your question now. But I want you to see. No. Jesus is the man who mediates in heaven. You say it doesn't mean that. Jesus is the offspring of David. I ask you, how can he be the offspring of David when he's not human? Oh, he's the son of God, as if that explains it. Jesus comes back as a man to judge the world in the future. And it still doesn't mean that. So the Bible doesn't mean what it says. It means what you want it to make it to mean. But I'll ask me your question. What's your question? All right. When Christ was raised from the dead, which person in the Trinity was in that body? Uh, what do you explain in? What do you mean by in? Um, which person was walking around in the body? Jesus which the Son. Which person in the God? Yeah, but what, before, you you, before you move on, hold on. Jesus is in me, the Father is in me, and the Holy Spirit is in me. So which which person the Godhead you is in me? You believe that there's three persons in one God, right? Yeah, okay. Well, before you move on, I'm trying to answer your question. When you say in, the Bible says God is in me, Jesus is in me, the Holy Spirit is in me. Does that mean I'm the Holy Spirit and this is the physical body of the Holy Spirit? Listen to what I'm asking. No, I'm answering you by asking the question, so answer. I know what you're going. Well, you answer. Answer a question. The, is the question. Holy Spirit in me if I'm a believer? Do I need to quote scripture to show that? If you're a believer, believers have the um, the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit. Okay, in them, right? Yes. Does that mean uh, the Holy Spirit is me and I'm the Holy Spirit? No. Okay, so when you true. ask me who was in Jesus, this is why I'm saying define your term because I don't think you understand what oh, you oh. mean. Who is in, what do you mean in him? In union with I'm him? I'm asking you this. I'm asking you this. Yeah. When Christ was resurrected, the body, the body was dead. Do we Can we agree to that? Okay, the what does death died. mean? What does death mean? On the third day. On the third day, when he was risen yes. from the grave, which person of the Trinity was inside that flesh? Was it God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? The Father did not become flesh. The Spirit did not become flesh. The Son, who's the Word, became flesh. That's the Son, was the it? Word, who became flesh. I just said it. You want me to say it so again? Was it God the Son? Yes. Okay, I got you on regular saying God the Son. You better believe allow it. Me, allow me to entertain you for a minute. No, don't entertain me. me. Get to your you questions exactly and your passages. Get to your passages so I can school you. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah, go All ahead. All right. Are you familiar with Exodus 33 when Moses and um, was on the mountain with God and he was talking to him? 
Moses says in Mo, um, Exodus 33. Go to Exodus 33. No, read it for me. Exodus 33, right. 20. You sure? Exodus 33 says this. And I'm going to start at verse. Um, yeah, go ahead. And he said, please show me your glory. This is Moses asking the father to show him his show glory. Show me where it says it's the father. Show me that he's talking to the father. You just got busted right there. All right. Just, just, allow me to finish reading. No, hold on, hold on. You said father, right? Show me in that chapter he's talking to the father. All right. I'm about to show you. Just, just, yeah, yeah. You just know, show me. No, no. Just, 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 show it to me. You made an assertion. Show me in Exodus 33, 20, when he says, no one can see my face and live. So you won't see my face, but my back parts. I'm going to school you on Exodus 33, 18 to 23. I know where you're going. Show me so where that's the father speaking. 32, right? that Moses Show me talk. that's the father speaking. So I'm very speaking very plain English to you. Show me so, where it says that's the father. All right. Exodus 32 says this. Mm -hmm. Exodus 32 and verse 6, it says, Does do you thus deal with the Lord? Oh, foolish and unwise. That's not Exodus. You're quoting Deuteronomy. You're your quoting Deuter Deuteronomy. Watch. Let me correct you, Otis. Again, in your ignorance, it's not Exodus. You're quoting Deuteronomy 32, verse yes, 6, I, right? I just told you that. No, you said Exodus. I got you recorded. You said Exodus 32. You got Exodus busted because you don't know the Bible. No, no. It's Exodus Deuteronomy 32, 6, right? I'm sure you. Deuteronomy 32, 6. Oh, but wait, wait. Moses, Otis, Moses if you're going to talk over me, I'm going to hang up on you. Listen, you just got recorded, and I got you recorded. In your ignorance, you said Exodus 32, you verse 6. I'm familiar with the passages better than you are. I knew you're going to Deuteronomy 32, verse 6. You're, now, you're do mostly, me a favor, Otis. Otis, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go to Acts 7, verse 30. No, 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 no. We're gonna deal with no. Moses this deals with the, this deals with deal Exodus with thirty-three. Otis, I'm gonna hang up on Let you if you talk over me. I'm gonna show you who is the one speaking to Moses in Exodus thirty-three. Go to Acts seven thirty, thirty-five, and thirty-eight. Stephen tells us who was speaking to him. Go. Acts seven. I'm not running from Exodus thirty-three like you are. Go to Acts seven thirty. I'm standing there. Okay, read it. Acts seven no, thirty for me. Did you know that? Can you when, read um, Acts seven thirty, friend? Do you know how when Acts seven thirty? I'm going to repeat it again. I don't want to hear you preach. Go preach to other heretics. Exegete. Go to Acts seven thirty. You told me that it was God the Son that was in that. Body Go to that rose Acts seven thirty. I'm if I say it again, I'm going to hang up in your face. You're going to be embarrassed. Go to Acts seven thirty. And 35 and 38. Stop preaching. I don't want to hear your preaching. I don't want to hear your satanic heresy. I want you to deal with the proofs. Go to Acts 7, verse 30. And when 40 years had passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. This is the Father. No, the angel is not the father because I'm going to refute you. He from is Exodus. called the angel of the Lord as well. I'm going to show you from Exodus it's not the father. Stop harping and barking. Read Acts 7.30. Read it again. And when 40 years had passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness. Okay. Of Mount Sinai. Might sign, all right? So the angel. Now go to 35. Did Moses, whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? Is the one God sent to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel who appeared to him in the bush? Okay, so the angel, right? Mm -hmm. Now read 38. This is he who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai and with our fathers, the one who receive the living oracles to give to us okay i want everyone to hear what you read in acts 7 38 the same angel that appeared to mount sinai in the bush is the same angel who later on mount sinai gave him the living oracles for israel you said that's the father and i'm going to bust your lie go to exodus 23 20 to 21 that's not the father go to exodus 23 20 to 21. I, um, you said it's the father you said the angel's the father that means you really yes. are an ignoramus when it comes to the Bible. Go to Exodus 23, 20 to 21. Well, what I need for you to do for me. Can you read these first before you have me do anything? Can you read? You brought up Exodus 23. It backfired and you didn't yes, blow it I in your all. face. No, it hasn't backfired. Okay, go to Exodus 23, 20 to 21, sir. Just go there, please.
You say Exodus. 23, 20 to 21. 23. Oh, man, I tell you, you got to – Anybody that talks with you, they gotta have patience, brother. Good no, thing that anyone who talks to you is gonna have patience spirit. not to lose their testimony because you're a Satanist that talks okay, well, to the devil for burning. I got you. I got you. Go ahead, get me, bro. Go ahead, get it. Yeah, Exodus 23, 20 to 21. You say? Exodus. This is now five times. You have also loss of hearing. Exodus 23, 20 to 21. You're a waste of time. Deal with this. I don't. I don't treat heretics lightly. You are a pervert who perverts the Bible. Angel before you to keep you in the so, way. Wait, wait, wait. Start at Exodus 23, 20, 21 loudly so people can hear oh, you. I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Okay, now let me this ask you a question. Uh, well, Otis, let me ask you a question. I, I if you're going to talk over me, I'm going to hang up, send you back to your father, the devil. Listen to what I just, <clears throat> you just read and what I'm gonna ask you. Someone is speaking about the angel and he says, I'm sending my angel ahead of you. Make sure you hear him because he'll not forgive your sin. My name is in him. Who's speaking about the angel there? Who's speaking about the angel? The father. The father, so who's the angel? Um, right here. The angel, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, since you're going to be honest and humble yourself, I'll be nice to you because you you said everyone, to everyone, everyone heard you. The father is the angel. You just got busted because the angel is not the father. He's different from the father. That in itself destroys your heresy because it shows you two divine persons working together at the time of Moses. Not one person, two persons who are God, because the angel embodies God's name and forgives sins. Go to Isaiah 63 now, since you wanted to, you made the mistake of going to the Old Testament. You made the mistake, not me. Go to Isaiah 63. Is this just a session where you do all the day? No, it's a session where I correct your blasphemies and heresies because in you school. You, you, you just admit that. you don't know. You just admit you don't know. So what can you teach me if you're ignorant? Well, I can teach you Mark 12 and 20. Um, you six. sure you want? Okay. Mark 12 and 26. Let you me, sure? Let me, wait, 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 wait. Sure hold on. Mark Before you go there. Before you go there. You pause and go to Mark 12 because I'm going to bury you in Mark 12. Yes, I want to go to Mark you 12. You sure? Okay, guys, but you heard I it. Also want go, to go to Mark 12. To go, go to Mark 12. Says, go to Mark 12, 26. Mark 12 26 says, but concerning the dead that they rise have you not read in the book of moses in the burning bush passage how god spoke to him yeah. saying i am the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob he said how god spoke yeah. to him. this is the now Lord otis right here otis hold on so, this is going to backfire against saying. you otis you listen take scripture and you otis, it together and i'm you going to now bury you in mark 12 26. otis jesus often yeah. speaks of himself in the third person go to john 17 3 and then i'm going to go to exodus 3 to bury you further Go to John 17, 3. Listen carefully because this again shows you don't know the Bible. You're a Bible pervert and an ignoramus, I have to be honest. Jesus often, can I finish the point? Jesus often, Jesus often speaks of himself in the third person because Jesus speaks in John 17, 3. Read it. Read it. You say John 17, 3? Yeah. Just now, Jesus, is there any point where I'm going to actually get to show Go to you John 17, verse 3. No go to John 17, 3. You've been buried in the fact that God is a trinity. You haven't done anything. You want me to hang up? you got five seconds to read John 17, 3. I'm going to bury you. Five, four. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. That word only means Finish life. the verse, or you're going to get Jesus dial Christ. tone. Five. And Jesus Christ. Okay. Who whom you have sent? Okay, wait. No. Who's who's speaking? Jesus is speaking. But why did Jesus speak of Jesus Christ in the third person? I can easily just tell you that because he's speaking as the Son of God. But no, that but the Son of God, he is Jesus Christ. He said, "This is the eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ." Why does he say and me? Why does he speak of Jesus Christ? Christ. Okay, bye bye, Otis. You're an ignoramus. Let me ask you this. Bye bye. Let me ask you this. Bye bye, sir. Let me ask you this. Bye bye. My brother. Say bye bye. Hello? Bye bye. Ooh.